Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are back. It is Zal here, back again with another... Well, obviously, we're back. I just said we're back. That's the fourth time we got back, and there's a fifth. But it's No Man's Sky Beyond Launch Trailer. What is No Man's Sky? It is a completely procedural game from the developers called Hello Games. Uh, what does that mean in English? Well, it means that the game is kind of never-ending. There's like 17 million, billion, maybe even trillion different planets uh, that you're never ever going to be able to explore the whole game in one lifetime uh, according to the developers anyway but we all know what the developers promised five years ago and that didn't quite come to play but more on that in a second the game is completely procedural so what that means is the planets themselves are generated um, the fauna the animals the leaves flora trees pretty much everything is generated um, so what that means is it's unpredictable in nature every planet you go to should be different in some aspect sometimes quite adversely other times maybe just a little bit um, but you really don't know what you're going to see out there. Uh, the game kind of follows a model that is close to Ark Survival Evolved as well as Rust. You go out you kind of like a survival game i guess <laughs> would be the best way of putting it you go out completely open world collect resources build a base get started that way and then you just explore really and see all the stuff that you can get uh, except this game isn't quite multiplayer yet which brings me on to this trailer because i believe from what i've heard that we should be getting it we should be getting it uh but yeah just quickly five years ago uh, the no man's sky developers Overpromised on the game, it dropped as like a triple A price, about £44. I fell for it, I bought it, and so did a lot of other people. And everyone was completely outraged because the game was nothing like what it was advertised to be. There was meant to be full on multiplayer, uh, there's meant to be a bunch of other things I can't quite remember now. But multiplayer was the big one, you should have been able to meet up with your friends, play together, and meet other players. And there wasn't. It was very much a single player game, and that was it. The game was just janky anyway, it was just glitchy. So anyway. Now it is certainly worth its price at £44, but I think you can pick it up for about 20 So up to you, up to you. But as I said, this trailer is meant to be bringing the multiplayer experience home. Currently, if you do meet another player and you haven't actually invited them into your game, then you see them as like an orb, uh, kind of like a pearl on the screen essentially. So they're not actually generated in front of you. You can't uh, speak to them, you can't do anything with them. It's just a visual effect. Uh, you can invite up to three people into your party, those people you can see, you can build a base with, and you can play with and communicate with, which is good. But this is meant to bring those little orbs uh, to life, essentially, and bring a lot more players into your game, whether they be hostile or friendly, we don't know, and kind of make it into an MMO, I guess. But uh, let's get straight into this, guys. I am excited. I hope you are too. Uh, make sure you're on the best quality before we kick it off. Okay, right, let's get going. I imagine they're going to focus around the multiplayer aspect in this trailer, because it's been something that everyone has wanted. You can ride stuff now? No. You can actually ride the creatures? You can? Oh my god, it's going to make things so much easier. That's so cool. What's that? Like a Death Star. We've got none of the Death. Yeah, there is a focus on other players being in the game. I think, but it looks. That is fucking beautiful. Well, fuck a doodle do, guys. That was insane. 
No Man's Sky Beyond Trailer. I think it's actually dropping on the 14th of August. Now, I started up a game about a week ago, two weeks ago. Uh, is that rain? Sounds a lot like rain. We are due some storms uh, here in England, sunny old England. It's currently 2 o'clock in the morning, but uh, some very hard rain. Anyway, um, yeah, there was, as I said, there was a focus on the multiplayer aspect, and why shouldn't there be? It was a feature that was promised, it's what people bought the game for. So it's good that we're actually getting that. Uh, the fact that, you know, people like to hate on this game, and with good, you know, they have every reason to hate on it. But now, Hello Games have made such a difference to the game. There's been a lot of updates, a lot of communication from the developers. There's only like a team of 30 of them as well. It's not a huge team. They've constantly brought updates to fix this game. They are not letting it die like Day Z did. They are not leaving the game behind at all, which is really, really cool. Um, so their player base has grown, their fan base has grown. You can't really hate on them anymore. Yes, it will always be known as that game, but now it is very much worth that price tag, I would say, uh, just from me playing it uh, only for about two and a half, three hours, so I'm still, have, I'm sure I've still got an awful lot to explore, but just from that, I had such a blast with my brother, uh, we're going to keep on playing it, it was great, I don't know whether it's going to wipe everything when Beyond comes out, but we'll see, um, I would imagine it would, but, uh, but we'll see, we'll see. But the, the trailer itself looked really, really good. Uh, the fact you can ride things as well is going to be awesome. I don't know if there's a limit on that. Uh, I imagine as long as the animal can take your weight, it should be fine. Uh, but the sea as well, I love that sea exploration. So the fact they've made that what looked to be a lot deeper uh, and really bring that whole abyss vibe into play is really, really cool as well. All in all, guys, I'm really, really looking forward to that. Uh, let me know if I've missed anything in that trailer. I did see like a huge vehicle with like six wheels or eight wheels, but I think that may already be in the game. Uh, but I've just only been reminded of it, so to speak. So I'm sure I've got a long way to go in my playthrough. But um, yeah, let me know in the comments if I have missed anything massive on there. There did appear to be some new buildings as well. But again, I haven't gone that far into the building myself uh, on my game. But no, thank you so much for joining me, guys. I hope you're excited. Leave a comment on what you're excited about. If you're going to get it or if you already had it, uninstalled it. And then I'm going to install it again just to try it out. Uh, you might as well if you already bought it. I mean, you might as well install it and give it an hour, two hours. Uh, once you get through the tutorial, it's pretty fun. Um, but yeah, once again, guys, being Zell here. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao, ciao.